I don't particularly want to die. Better stay out of that hallway. Uh, the vent fans aren't running, so they're probably still poison gas in the air. Come back on. I just use this to make gas here, but I don't see my head in it too far. You know what's left in here. The bug wool are vanished. I like that. This game has some funky ass sounds. The game has a lot of handgun bullets. Some more beef jerky. I'll tell you right now, uh, I'm probably never going to use the beef jerky because I tend to forget about it. And I tend to just run rather than try and sort out stuff like that. Um, let's check out behind us first. Oh. Mm. Okay, you know what, let's, let's go back. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting any of these units to open, so... <laughs> I hear. I want to at least like clear off this area. I know there's some doors way back at the start of this area that we've not checked. But I'm just gonna have to deal with that. And just hope that we aren't required to run all the way back there for something. I think we might have to run back through this unless there's a shortcut. I'd say it's kind of dangerous because you've got those screechy noise guys. And also their pigs in the ground in the floor. And these dogs. And they're no railings. Um, no. So there's a lot of panic and not entirely sure which way to go. Oh, hello. Uh, I'll check that in a moment. I uh, don't even think about what's being for, uh, platform there. there are. Oh. Oh, hey. Some sort of vice here. No nut in the walnut shell. Just a jewel. Moonstone. We could evolve a fairy with this. Uh, it's just a type of jewel. Not really from the moon. It was inside at Walnut somehow. I think the only thing left for us here is the save, which I'm definitely going to use. This pattern looks like it could have been drawn in blood. I bet there's some sort of curse. I bet it's some sort of curse symbol. No wonder my head hurts and I feel so awful when I look at it. The curse of saving. Sport shop. I guess this was a sports shop. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to say you, you don't go into this area. That northern section on this floor you just don't go to. We might just be able to slip back to where we were. Failing that, it's just a one back. It's a lot. I didn't even realize it was uh... a. <laughs> didn't realize there was a wall there now. There we go. 
I want to say in some of these screens. Oh. Stop swinging. Just make weird noises. <laughs> there we go. Monster crossing. Um. Let's go ahead and make a path into this door. I feel like there's. Oh, ow! I feel like this game has more doors that are locked that you can't do anything with. Just to help throw you off. Because oh, it's nice like that. I need to remember strafing is a thing we can do. <laughs> Save complete. Thankfully I want to say these guys stay dead, hopefully. I say that with no real knowledge, I'm just hoping that they stay dead. And the effort it took us to kill them, or the effort it took to kill them, was not in vain. Gonna, gonna hit that button a lot. I suck the moonstone into the door. Want to say that's it essentially for this area? Uh, for no reason at all. Uh, equipping my gun. I suppose that's one bad thing about the supplies menu like that is it makes it very easy to not pay attention to how many bullets you're using. I was gonna like do a loop and hopefully find some items, but you know what? Let's just go this way. Do our best not to fall. And climb the ladder. Very impressively, considering, like, while still holding the gun. I totally would not, like, not try and hold the gun whilst climbing a ladder. Or at the very least, I would do it a lot more awkwardly. Surprisingly sturdy ladder. Given how it was like. Oh, well, never mind. That's a big, big weird worm thing. <laughs> right. uh, 
boss fight, as you might imagine. safe as long as you keep your distance and you only attack when it's opened its mouth. There we go. The camera is helping, or at least trying to help a lot more. <laughs> and there you go, that went surprisingly well. Good job me. Thanks me. Just a white screen. As you do. Nope. What? It's the shopping mall just like before. I still have the handgun. Probably put that away. <laughs> and take out this steel pipe instead. That will look a lot less suspicious. Uh, there is something I know you can miss here somewhere. I really want to make sure I don't miss it. I think it might be in this next area oh hey phone doesn't work well we all have our hopes wish we could get a hold of dad this is the start of the game right None of the doors are working now. Hmm. Here we go. This room is missable. And this is where we started the game. Uh, it's important because it has handgun bullets. <laughs> and a first aid kit. And... Oh, a save point. Sure, I'll save. Burger shop. I want to say it's actually Happy Burger as well, but... I may be mistaken about that. Beef jerky. This is where we're sleeping earlier. Hal, I might still be sleeping here for all I know. I wish I were. Poke the chair. <laughs> Give yourself a imaginary slap in the back of the head and see if you feel it. <laughs> That's what I would do. Maybe not with the pipe, just like my hand swat at the air Heather it's you Detective. what just happened 
you must be one of them. What did I do? And what do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? Look, I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why don't you start by telling me what happened here? I don't think she knows. Sir. What the hell was that? I don't know any more than you do. Maybe even less. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here, and I got a weird feeling it's got something to do with me. Maybe you're just an innocent bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. You know, if you hadn't found me... What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? But I know there's something. Something I've been running from and forgot for a long time. I do. Hell if I know. <laughs> and there's just nope. <clears throat> She's out. Must be pretty handy having a subway stop directly in the mall. Oh. Well, no more use for that place anymore. I'd rather uh, get back home on the double. I like how she assumes that the subway is going to be normal. <laughs> what with its broken locks and such. I've never seen a subway this quiet. I, I've been to subways late at night. Um, I've been... I want to say I went, I've been at a subway as it was closing slash when it's closed. And there's always been people by. Admittedly, it was like a more busier subway. Uh, I still don't know my way home. So we need to get to Bergen Street 3 train at platform. Wait, Bergen Street at tra platform 3. I mean, I would like a map. I guess it's not a portable map. It's just a map of the stops. Hmm. There's a newspaper left on top of the ticket machine. Fatal accident at Hazel Street. At about 11pm on the 4th, a man waiting on the subway platform at Hazel Street Station fell onto the tracks and was decapitated by the arriving uh, St. Menta carriage-bound train. The victim died instantly. While police have not yet determined whether the death was an accident or suicide, witnesses report that the victim did not look inebriated and seemed to jump off the platform deliberately. The victim's identity is still unknown. He is approximately 40 years old, 5 feet 10 inches tall, and wearing a black jacket. This uh, newspaper is 4 months old. What's it doing here? Wait, how on. Did they give a date? 
Uh, on the 4th. It doesn't say on the 4th of which month. <laughs> they, they'd be very careful with when it comes to stuff like that. Because we could have given a rough estimate of which month this is then. Is that Hazel Street? I keep away from Hazel Street.